today we're going to learn about how to work with and manipulate text in R. We're going to work with the string R package. It's very easy to use. It's very intuitive, so you're going to love it. It comes with the Tidyverse packages, so you've already got it. The data set that we're going to work with, you already have it. It's MT cars. It's on your computer right now, so you can replicate everything that I'm doing at home. Let me show you what it is that we're going to do in this lesson, right? If you look at the MT cars data set, here are the model names over here. We want to create this table that I've got below me at the moment, where we've extracted out just any model name where the letter M is included in the model name, either at the beginning or anywhere in the model name, right? So we're gonna look at the text and identify for each observation whether there is or isn't an M, and if there is, we're gonna include that observation in the table. Okay, so easy peasy, lemon squeezy, let's do this, boom shakalaka. On this YouTube channel, we're creating our programming videos on everything. As always, we're using the Tidyverse packages. String R is one of those, so we've loaded Tidyverse. I've also included GT Extras that helps us make really beautiful tables, like the one that you can see below me at the moment. This video is not about GT Extras, but you'll see the code that I use, and you might want to pick up on a couple of those things right there. Let's go down and have a look at, and we've already viewed the, the data set, so let's just look at the code that I've used to create this table. And everything below the blue line over here is about you know making it look pretty with GT Extras, so we're going to focus on the top half for now. Let's start by looking at uh, how we get the data in shape so we can do this. Firstly, obviously we start with the empty cache data set. We now notice that in the empty data set, this very left-hand column here is not a variable. These are row names, right? So we need to create a variable called model, right? So let's go back here. So we say mutate model, that's the name of the variable, and it is gonna be equal to row names in the empty cars data set, easy peasy. Then, here's where things get interesting, right? Again, we use mutate. We're creating a variable called has m. This will be is a logical, true or false. Okay, equals string detect. That's the function that we're learning about today, string detect. And in it, there's two arguments. Firstly, what does it need to look at? So we're gonna ask it to look at the model, model variable that we just created in the row above. And it's gonna look for a capital M, right? And then we pipe that into filter has M is true. So we're only gonna extract out observations where that is the case. And then I've just said here, select a couple of variables just so that we can create a nice table. Um, and then the rest of the code over here just neatens it up. I'll just tell you about it so that you know. GT uh, bracket bracket just creates the GT table, which always looks nicer than what R just produces naturally. Uh, tab header creates the title. Column align, I like them to be the columns and the data to be aligned to the left. And then this is quite a nice th theme, uh, 538, but there's lots of themes you can use. So if we run that, uh, which I've already done, boom shaka lucky you get this table over here. Nice and neat. It's a lovely function, this uh, string detect. You should practice it. Do what I've done here. On the screen at the moment, there is a link that's going to take you to the next video in this series. Hope you enjoyed this. Remember to subscribe, like, share, comment, etc., etc. Don't ever change. Don't do drugs. Always do your best. Speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.